Hello everyone, it's James Braithwaite here in Toronto at Braithwaite Physiotherapy and today marks the first in a series of videos that I'm going to do on running, injuries in running, performance in running, running form, everything running. If you like running, these are going to be the videos for you and the reason that I'm doing them is I'm very proud and happy to announce that I'll be sponsoring the physiotherapy sponsor for the Pride Run uh, coming up here in Toronto at the end of June. June 27th, 2015 is the Pride Run here in, in Toronto and that is the event that kicks off the whole Pride Week. It's a great community event so if you're interested in involving yourself in a great Toronto uh, community oriented event, this is a great way to do it. It's a ton of fun, great energy. Uh, I'm going to also uh, invite you to go and check out the Pride Run website which is at priderun.org um, that all the information from their side of things is up there. Do go check it out, get more information there. And check out all that stuff, it's going to be great, it's going to be a good time. And then come out and, and say hi to me as well, I'd really love to meet you. And we can, uh, we can uh, you know, talk all things running and, and injuries. What a good time, talk injuries when you come meet me. Uh, so, today we're going to talk first about um, just generally how to run so that you don't injure yourself. And we all know that running is associated with all kinds of different injuries. Anyone who's done running for any amount of time has probably run into one of a few different things, whether it's um, iliotibial band syndrome or ITB syndrome, uh, patellofemoral pain syndrome, which I did a video on a few videos ago. Some of you have seen that, I'm sure. Um, uh, patellar tendinitis, um, Achilles tendinitis, or ruptured Achilles, God forbid, but th they do happen. Um, you know, amongst other things, there's all kinds of uh, different problems you can run into. Plantar fasciitis is the more common one that I see coming in, let alone shin splints, stress fractures, all of that stuff. Um, and a lot of it just boils down to a less than awesome running form. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today two things. One is uh, we're going to talk about some good basic form points to help you manage and avoid these injuries. And then secondly, we're also going to talk about, uh, I'm going to invite you, I extend to you an invitation. Uh, today to come out to, if you're here in Toronto, uh, my Injured Runners Club, which I'm definitely going to change the name of, but right now it's the Injured Runners Club. And uh, we meet uh, every Sunday at 5.30, as of right now, um, at the south gates of the Trinity Bellwood Park. We, uh, it's a small group, we do some stretching and, and um, tissue releasing depending on what is bugging people that day in terms of their, their injuries. We go for a run where we focus on one form point per week each week. In, the, in, in our running practice. We run for you know 40 minutes to an hour, not a super long run, but enough to get a good run and practice our form for that week um, in there. And then we finish with some more stretching and soft tissue releasing. It's a good time, it's good people, and, uh, and it's a good chance for if you're nursing an injury for you to practice getting back to your running form uh, with uh, attention to the proper sort of uh, uh, style and technique details. So I'll invite you to that as well. Sundays, 5.30, South Gates of Trinity Bellwood Park. Now, one of the, the one thing that we're going to talk to uh, today is about the, the style of running that I really like. You might have heard of it. It's called the pose running method, and it was developed by Nicholas Romanov. He's a, a, a Russian sports scientist, um, and he's written a couple books that I highly recommend. I would point you towards uh, the Running Revolution uh, that is available in print right now at uh, your local bookstore. It's a great book and talks about all the stuff that I'm going to talk about in much more detail. A great read. I highly recommend it. Um, and the whole idea with the pose running method is that four foot running strike with uh, this, what he calls the pose and what we call the pose um, in your mid stride. So with your, let's talk about that four foot strike first. When we four foot strike, what we're really trying to do is control our center of mass. When we do a traditional heel strike, um, we strike with our center of mass, typically in the upper part of our pelvis, behind the foot. So we strike with the foot, center of mass is back here somewhere. We need to change this so that the center of mass is over the foot. So I'm going to get you for a drill to start, and this is called the pose position, where you're on your tippy toes, that's the forefoot, right? You're on your tippy toes, and you are uh, uh, focusing that center of mass over that base of support, which is, in this case, my tippy toes. My other leg is in this figure four position, you see I'm making like the number four here, uh, or I guess according to the camera, the reverse number four. Um, and that is, uh, we're going to start here, this is called our mid pose. I'm going to, from there, learn to start leaning forward, because that's how I'm going to project myself forward. I'm going to lean forward so that I feel my center of mass shifting forward on that base of support, my forefoot. As I start to move forward, my eventually my center of mass is going to get past my base of support. My center of mass is going to get past the end of my toes, at which point I'm going to start to fall forward, right? Um, 
as I start to fall forward, the job of my other foot, my swing leg, is to catch me. So, it looks like this. This is your drill. You're going to get into this pose, right, on your forefoot. You're going to feel that center of mass, really sense it, oh, that, that weight over your forefoot, not over your heel. Your heel is just kissing the ground at most. You're not leaning back into the heel. It's kissing the ground at most during your run. So, the drill is to get into this position, and then you're just going to lean ever so slightly forward, eventually feel it go forward until you have to catch again into the next, into the next foot strike. Um, you're going to strike uh, on that forefoot again, and as you do this in your run, you're going to strike, you're going to aim to strike with your forefoot right underneath your hip. Not in front, not behind, right underneath your hip. That's the goal. But the first trick to this is to learn how to sense your center of mass over your base of support. Again, your base of support is going to be your forefoot. So as you run, you're striking center of mass over base of support, fall forward, center of mass, whoops. Over, better than that you're going to do over your base of support and uh, and work on controlling that stride to stride to stride um, it takes a little bit of practice um, in the blog that is written around this it's on my website if you're reading this from the website the, the blog will have some more details about how to practice this but remember this is really just a matter of learning to control that center of mass over your base of support which in our case is going to be your forefoot you're going to find that you're going to have to do a couple of things to make this work you're going to have to shorten up your stride and you're going to have to increase the frequency of your stride as well. That takes a little bit of getting used to. You're going to feel like you're um, taking little bunny steps, but that's okay. You should not hear any scuffing in your shoes as you do this. It should be a nice, clean stride. Um, a common mistake is to have a scuffing type, type run, and we don't want that. We want a nice, clean sounding run. Um, some more details, again, are written in the blog, and if you want more details, again, I'll refer you back to that book, The Running Revolution by Nicholas Romanov. Try this balance drill, okay, for this week, between now and the next time when I post a video about this. Um, uh, get into your pose position, that figure four position, and practice falling forward. Uh, and practice it in your run. Go for a run outside and give it a whirl. It feels goofy at first, but practice makes perfect as always. I also want to direct your attention as you prepare for whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's the pride run or anything else. Actually, I hope it is the pride run. And if you are preparing for the pride run, I want you to go and check out their website as well. They are at priderun.org. That's priderun.org. They've got all the information about the race there. And again, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be sponsoring the race, so I think it's going to be a fantastic uh, community event. So if you're in Toronto, definitely come out. Come talk to me. I'm going to have a tent there. I'll be leading the warm-up. It's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be all kinds of good people there. So if you have any questions about this or any uh, anything else running or physiotherapy related at all, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, you know how to do so. You can go to my website, yorkfieldphysiotherapy.com, or any of the other social media stuff that we talked about earlier in the video. I'd love to hear from you. I'm James Braithwaite at Braithwaite Physiotherapy.